Tell them where we're at. Can you okay. say Farley Con? Can you say comic books? Book? Book? She likes books. Yeah, show people your, your get up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, we got the team back together. We're at Farley Con 2023. Heck in yeah. August. <laughs> yeah, August. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go blow some money. <laughs> that was a great intro. Can you tell it's been three years since we've done this? Alright guys, we're at Farley Con as Justin said. It's been like... Yeah, that's true. It's been like three years since we've filmed a con together. Something about a pandemic and children or something like that, I don't know. But we're going to go see what kind of comics we can find. Justin, are you looking for anything today? Yes. This is not great scenery. A little either. different than usual. I'm going to see if I get an autograph. Oh! There's some uh, Dragon Ball Z voice actors, English voice actors here. So. Okay. We'll see if I work up the courage. If not, Spider-Man, as always. I'm not big into, like if I'm going to a comic book convention, I'm probably not looking for signatures. But we'll just see what we find when we get in there. Some of you may have noticed I bought the Night Gwen Stacy died before, like a week ago. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of damage I'll do. But uh, I guess we'll just see when we get in there. It'll be good to see our old vendor friends that we haven't seen in like two years. Well, if you want the next issue, it's 450. I already saw it. 450 of what? Oh, it's graded. <laughs> 450. I am looking for that one, but well, not I at 450 dollars. <laughs> we'll see if we can find it raw. But all right, let's get in. There. All right, guys, we're here at Dustin's booth, Rough Edge Comics. We're showing off his wall. He's got first dead pull up there, first dead stroke. That's Swamp Thing number one. First Hobgoblin up there. There's a He-Man. Uh, Spider Gwen book for some reason. I gotta get Leonard. Uh, you can go down. Right there we got first Punisher. We got first Iron Fist. Got that Daredevil 168 baby. First Bullseye right there. There's first Nightwing, first Gambit, first Silk. Dustin always has an awesome wall. There's uh, first appearance of Raven and uh, Cyborg and Starfire. There's that Todd McFarlane cover. There's those books, but now they're raw. There's Second Moon Knight and Machine Man 1. The Wonder Man solo series. First Omega Red over there. A Sonic book we'll probably get Jordan to buy. First White Vision. We got some awesome Dracula books on the bottom row there. If you're ready, Jessica, we can move over to the graded books. Now that we've got to get on camera. Check this out. One of the most notorious comics in all of the comic community. The Angry Girlfriend variant. But look who is on it. Our boy Shane. Low grade better than no grade. Long live Shane. And we got some awesome artists on here. Got Ryan Brown. See Greg Bow. Just one of the most iconic comics in all of the game, right here. We'll keep going. Is that his name, Jeff? Get that back right. Come down to the second row here. We've got first Iron Man, first Madam Web, uh, first Werewolf, on, or not first, but uh, his his solo series, if you will. Got some awesome. I'm not sure if that's Golden Age or Early Silver Age, but some awesome books. We've got some Haunted Mansion. Don't see that every day. That's pretty cool. There's an awesome Thor book when we're still journey into mystery. There's first Spider Woman. Got your iconic Adam Hughes cover right there. There's the foil reprint for Hulk. There's your first Doomsday. There's an awesome Lady Death. And then rounding us out down here at the bottom, we've got a Devil Dinosaur 1. Logan's Run, which I believe is the 
something to do with Thanos. And then we've got a Dazzler Solo Series. So Rough Edge is always bringing the heat. So this, this is how we're getting the con started, baby. <laughs> I think they have more of them up here. Hold that back up. Yeah. Is he Donald, Donald Duck? Duck? Who is that? <laughs> Donald? You say Donald? Duck? <laughs> okay, Donald. There's a, there's a bunch more right here. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll let look at them in a second. I'd say there may be some other ones, too. I told him we need to get her a comic. Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> That's funny. And then there's Savage World. <laughs> <laughs> there's some Donald Duck. I hit the wrong stinking bitch.
cross covers. It's one through six. I think it's a nine yeah. run issue. Um, <laughs> trying to show those off a little bit. Huh? I went through six, my bad. And I picked up some Sonic Universes. I'm really into Sonic, so I got the Sonic Universe and then some more Sonic Universes. I picked up Spider Man number 600. And then I filled in some holes on my Bunny Cage Venom run. It was number four. That's second appearance of the mold. Number eight. Thirteen. 19. And I also picked up some Alex Ross Timeless covers. I tried to get all the Sinister Six, or some of the Sinister Six. There's Scorpion, Electro, Lizard, Rhino, Mysterio, and Sandman. And I also got a hold of it in the hold number one. And then I got my Venom Leaf Protector number one signed by uh, Sam De La Rosa. And then the key book that I picked out here at this Comic Con was First Null Vinyl Number 3 by Donny Case. I've been looking for this book for years. It's <laughs> not cool. Hey everyone, here to show you my haul. It's not huge, but there's some quality. So for $2, I got the Alex Ross cover Shang-Chi. Next we have uh, um, Falcon Never cover of me. Captain America. Number 24, Alex Ross. Glad to add those to the collection. Alright, next we have ASM 260. Just picked that up last minute. I love that cover. Made sure I didn't already have it. And then a book that I missed the boat on, Amazing Fantasy 1000. Somehow I didn't buy that, and I really like this cover. <laughs> and it, I figured $8 wasn't too bad for that. Okay. Down to my last two things. What we have here is in a Gator Guard with a custom Venom sort of seal over it. We have Venom Lethal, Lethal Protector Volume 2 signed by uh, Sam De La Rosa. This cover is uh, one of only 1,000 and it's the only cover that Sam De La Rosa did. And then on the back, if you were to uh, scan this right here, it'll actually take you to Sam signing these books. So that's very cool too. Definitely one of the coolest things I own. And last but not least, I got to meet uh, Stephanie Nadolny, hope I pronounced that right, the original voice of, English voice of young Goku and young Gohan in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. And I got this Funko from her autographed and I got my picture with her. So, I'm super happy. I took the plunge. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard to top those last two for me. But it's good to be back. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, we're here to do the wrap-up portion of FarleyCon, which was like a month or two ago. Two months, almost. Um, just because, you know, you guys know how it goes. Life gets crazy. Um, I wanted to do this sooner so that I could talk about all the vendors. Because uh, we hadn't done a con in, since FarleyCon of two years ago, is that I what we said? I guess so. So it was exciting getting back out there. Farley Con is one of our local shows put on by our buddy Rocky. Um, and it was good to see everybody. It I was. didn't. We didn't know how it was going to go. Uh, vendors here took cards and that would get us in trouble. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> uh, before we would just get cash back and that's kind of what you had to go off of. But uh, A lot of vendors now will take like PayPal, Venmo... Whatever. Some of them have Square or something like They'll that. They'll take your like, card, yeah. Yeah, you can just slot, swap your card. So I was like, okay, when we do Carter's Little Con, we're getting cash out and we're <laughs> sticking with that because everyone there knows I'm a, a sucker and I like a good deal. So uh, we spent time mostly at three booths. Well, we bought stuff mostly from three booths. Uh, Rough Edges, our buddy Dustin. Mm -hmm. Um... Rock City Comics, and a new one, who we believe was Fall... You think it was Fallout Shelter? I think it was Fallout Shelter Collectibles or Fallout Shelter Comics, I believe. That's why I wish we had done this sooner, because those people were awesome. They I'm were, assuming it's were. a couple. Um, maybe a husband and wife, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, it was our first time meeting them, and I told him... You're the only booth here I see with reasonably priced Usagis, so I'll probably Spoiler. be back. Spoiler. 
Yeah. So I'll probably <laughs> be back. Um, so we did. So my first purchase I made was with Dustin, but I'll mm -hmm. probably be showing that last. Uh, by the time we hobbled over to Rock City Comics, we were uh, pretty tapped out. Yeah. But that's our homeboy. Uh, that That's my con dad. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, I think he's probably been in every Farley Con episode that we filmed. Yeah, I think so. He was telling me to buy Echo Comics before, um, oh, yeah. before Hawkeye. Yeah. I think it was. So he sold me the Daredevil 10 and 11. Her first appearance is 9. Uh, so he sold me something like 10 and 11 or 11 and 12, something like that. Very cool books. And I'm able to get some like horror comics there. So, and stuff. I don't know where you got that creature feature from. I don't remember. I'm wondering if it was from him. It might have been. So I think I'm it was. I think start. I saw that and I was like, oh, I'm getting this. I'm going to start with Rock City stuff. So next up for you is You'll Die Too, <laughs> Deceased. Deceased number one. So I'm pretty sure I have a Deceased number one, but not this cover. So Guys, I grabbed... I grabbed some of a run that I've been really wanting. The Marvel Knights Ghost Rider. I like that cover. Jeez, I mean, dude, they're all so stinking good. Wait till you see some of these. All right. You put yeah, yourself so together. I have not had... So, I got the DC vs. Vampires, but this was DC vs. Vampires All Out War. Yeah. A limited series. So, like, yeah. I there's wish one, I... And there's two. Also featuring King Nightwing's origin. Oh, that's cool. I wish I had grabbed every single one of these Ghost Riders he had. Because he was cutting me a deal. I like that cover, too. Oh, dude. I think these are the Michael Crane. Or Clayton, Clayton Crane? Clayton Crane. Pretty sure. Yeah, it says it right there at the top. Oh, you're right. I should just read the covers. There's number three of DC vs. Vampires All Out War. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Garth Ennis, he writes. What the heck did he write? He writes something that you're into, right? And there's number four of six. I don't remember. Five of six. Look at that Shazam cover, wow. dude. That's pretty sweet. And six of six. So when I saw, you know, it's a six issue limited series and they had all six you might as well get them i on. had to get them because i didn't know when i'd see them again especially all six. Oh, he writes the boys and the preacher oh wow yeah, he wrote on ghost rider yeah and he wrote on ghost rider pretty sweet that is cool okay so that was rock city i always see so with rock city we mostly buy run filler stuff like this so i always make sure to save you know maybe like 10 20 bucks just to go grab some good run filler stuff because my gosh these ghost riders were insane man look at that there's a glare there you go crane has arguably my favorite covers on ghost rider and to own a couple now is spectacular okay so next up was the place we believe was the fallout shelter and jessica you didn't get any comics but we got the pop we effectively got this for free yeah so it's a hundredth anniversary mickey mouse we typically Top buy we typically buy all the 100th anniversary stuff that we can find we like Mickey and Minnie, and so does Alicia, so yep. she loved that, too. It's a very cool stuff. Now, the stuff I never get to see, you may hear our daughter. <laughs> She's kind of in the other room watching TV. So, the, oh man, I should have reviewed these before I, I got started here. So, Yusagi Yojimbo Color Special. And this Usagi Yojimbo number one. That. I'm going to have to get these right. Um, and. 
a critters number one. How cool is that? that is critters cool. number one. So this was one of the books when I went to the con that I had kind of on my watch list. Like if I can get a critters number one, I would have been happy. So to also add the Soggy Jimbo number one and the color special, I was very excited for. So the color special. Uh, it says it reprints artwork, mostly covers from early publications, and it's an anthology of stories featuring Usagi. So that's pretty cool. And then that should be the first time they reprinted Albedo 4, or Albedo 2, I should say, which is his first appearance. Yes, it's a, it's a wraparound cover. And it reprints cool. um, Albedo uh, number two, which is his first appearance. And then the Critters um, is a part of Fantagraphics. I don't know if you can see it, but. And they got it as the first appearance of Jin, the Rhino Bounty Hunter, if you've read um, some of the main series you saw the lines or even watched the cartoon. There's a character in there based off Jen. Okay, so that was... Man, I was just so excited. Like, look at that. You soggy books, man. You just... You're not running into this stuff at, like, your average comic book store. No. So, was beyond thrilled. Okay, so next up is our buddy Dustin, who will be putting on Cartersville Con. Woo. That's part of the thing that sparked the fire under my butt to get this recorded is, oh my gosh, Cartersville Con is in like, Ten not days. this Saturday, but the following Saturday, so. Um, Jessica, you got more books than me, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, now, Dustin's our buddy, he already cut us a good deal, and then yeah. we got a couple, so he, he cut us a, a darn good deal. So, I'm trying to figure out where to start on this. You're about to, you're trying this? to give spoilers. This is number seven. This is Haunted, Haunted Mansion. Mansion, number seven. Now, I had never seen the comics to this. I don't know. I hadn't either. That's why when I saw them, I was like, oh. <laughs> number five. I gotta have them. Yeah, I don't blame you. Number three. The covers three. are pretty cool, too. And number one. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that, especially the number one, but all of them in general. But yeah, I have not ever seen these anywhere else. So all right, stories inspired by the classic Disney attraction. Zoom in on this one. So did the attraction come first before like the movie? And you the know, it may be. I I don't know. I need to look into it. Derek says it's his favorite Disney property. I guess. Really? Um, mm -hmm. I know the newer one comes on Disney Plus tomorrow. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to have to watch that and read these. So the last book we got, gosh, I knew I was in trouble the second I saw <laughs> it. So we're filming and Dustin's like, what you want off the wall? I was like, well, you know something's catching my eye. And he said, I'll give you a good deal. Go ahead. I was like, dang nabbit, Dustin. And he's like, well, you know, if you're getting them haunted mansions... You know, let's let's work something out. I was like, "Dag, have it, Dustin." <laughs> Too nice. I know. Look at that daredevil one thirty one. And uh, you know, this was a book that, as a daredevil collector, I, you almost like you tell yourself, "I need it," because I can't be calling myself a daredevil collector and not have first bullseye. You know, I didn't have daredevil one. Which is obviously first Daredevil. I didn't have seven. First red suit. I didn't have first appearance of Electra. I didn't have first appearance of Bullseye. So even though I've got some really cool ones. I've got some low issue ones. I've got six. I've got five. I've got two. I've got uh, nine. I mean I've got some low numbered ones. But I really needed that super mega daredevil key i think to really 
really feel like, okay, I, I'm collecting Daredevil. It's like I was dancing all around this issue number, you know, and dancing all around some of those Frank Miller keys. I don't know why Elizabeth is choosing now during my <laughs> monologue, but um, this was one of my goal books, though I didn't think I would pull the trigger. Uh, so here it is. Thank you, Dustin. Um, it, it was really cool. You know, anytime I can get a book from Dustin, him and Shane kind of started us on this YouTube path. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, it's always good to buy a key from from Dustin, you know, keeping that tradition going. And that, that is one of the things we look forward to at Cartersville Con is, is seeing Dustin. Um, I believe that will be the first Cartersville Con since Shane's passing, so... Mm -hmm. Um, I knew I had to buy from Dustin at this con. Now, we bought enough stuff from this con to feel like two cons <laughs> worth of stuff. So, golly, when we do Cartersville Con, I don't expect the haul. I hope the haul looks <laughs> nothing like this, you know. I, we'll see, though. I can't get three Usagi keys and a Mega oh, Daredevil no. <laughs> key on top of the other Take stuff we got. Take out a loan. Yeah. It feels that way. But, uh, so many awesome vendors. Yes. FarleyCon has gotten... There's a lot gotten. to look at, too. They even had, um, uh, I think the place was called Chocolate Moonshine. Oh, yeah, yeah, But they yeah, had yeah. fudge and, like, candies and stuff, and they were Didn't really Didn't you let good. Alicia try some? Yes, Alicia tried some, I think, of the cookies and cream fudge. Yeah, it was and so good, If you're though. wondering, they didn't save me any, guys. Yeah, it was really good, though. Um, it was just samples, but yeah. FarleyCon has just gotten so big yes. from what it used to be. Yes. FarleyCon, for those of you that haven't followed our five-year journey on here, FarleyCon was our first ever comic book convention. And, and it was in a rec center. It was in a rec center. It was kind of small, you know. It yeah. was one day. Yeah. Now, I will be honest. You guys know Rocky is is one of our buddies and... The show has just grown massively. So. It's two days now. It's a two-day show. It's in a new center. And, uh, you know, I will say that um, I think Rocky is doing a great job turning it into a pop culture show. Mm -hmm. um, now, the one of the reasons that Farley Con was one of my favorite cons was that it was just a comic book show. Like, he always had guests, of course. Mm -hmm. But it really felt like comics first. I will say it's starting to get that pop culture vibe now. Like, the guests are a huge part of the show now. Not so much... Or, I mean, the vendors are obviously still yeah, a big part yeah. of the show. But, uh, you know, they had Jim Shooter. Yeah. That one time we went. And then they had Sudadam this year. And I'm sure plenty of other guests. Yeah. So. I will say, um, it's kind of like once you, you find that hole in the wall thing that gets big, you start to get a little jaded. Yeah. So, I mean, I will, you know, it was cool when it was just a little hole in the wall comic book show. Um, it's really taken on a life of its own now. It has. So I'm happy for Rocky. You know, in a way, I hope it keeps getting bigger and bigger and it, it becomes everything Rocky, you know, wanted it to be. Um, I, I kind of miss the, the small charm of it when it yeah. was like $5 for a one day show. Yeah. Um, I won't lie to you guys. Those are always my favorite conventions. Just 